So there's many different types of copywriting and there are some that will make you more money than others. So in this video, I wanted to give you five of my favorite and highest paying types of copywriting there is to choose from. So you can pick the one that best suits you based on your interests, desires, background, or just which, whichever sounds the coolest to you basically, and start making money with this lucrative skill of copywriting. Go jump over to my screen now, and I've put together a little slideshow. I'm so highly technically advanced. And I've called this slideshow, or this presentation, the five highest paying types of copywriting for writers who wanna make more money. So this is basically for beginner writers or advanced copywriters, anybody who's looking to make some more money on the side, part-time, full-time, whatever you want. So in this video, I wanna share five types of copywriting that will make you the most amount of money right now and in the years to come. So these aren't just suddenly gonna be like fads that are gonna be around for the next year or so and then they're gonna die off. These are things that will stick around for years to come. And there are a number of types of copyright in this video, and they're all very, very capable of making a lot of money. And you don't need to master all of them. You can just pick one and run with it and master one of them. So of each type of copywriting, I'm gonna show you why it's highly in demand, how much you can realistically make, and the new unique opportunities and challenges of each one as well. So you can kind of pick and choose which is the best fit for you. So before I get into them, let's just backtrack two seconds and like, what is copywriting? If you're new to this video and you know how to copyright in, like what the hell is this word? From Google, it states that copywriting is the activity or occupation of writing the text of advertisements or publicity material. Or in other words, writing words that sell stuff. <laughs> That's like the best way to describe what copyright is. Whenever you read anything online or offline, in a store or on an online website from a company that wants to sell you something, this is copywriting in action for you. So copywriting in plain sight. So now you've got a baseline understanding of what copywriting is, let's just jump straight into the types of copywriting that are most worth learning today from my point of view and that will make you the most amount of money. First of all, we've got direct response. Now, direct response copywriting is written in a way that provokes an immediate or specific action from the reader. So we're writing in a way that we want somebody to do something or to click something or to take an action. So here's some examples I pulled off Facebook. And these are three simple examples. They're basically getting the reader to do something. So we've got uh, one on the left here that shows uh, a great dessert recipe. They obviously want people to click that to go and see the recipe. We have another camping meal recipe in the middle here. On the right here, we have a direct call to action to get $10 off on this rainbow Chevron watch. So that is what I would class as direct response copywriting. When it comes to opportunities and how you can start doing direct response, fairly straightforward. You just have to understand what people's desires are and what people's emotional buying triggers are, and you can use them in, or as part of your direct response copywriting. It's really simple. There is definitely a high demand for this because obviously advertising in the written word and in some of the other types that we'll go into in this video there aren't they aren't just going to die out these these types of written copy will be around forever or for as long as humans are around so the second type of most like high in demand copy or copywriting is website copy this is as it says it's just basically words that go on a website on static pages that make up a website so you know we've got a home page or about page services contact page they're just the basic page you would usually find on the website there's obviously going to be more than this but those are types of copywriting you probably would be expected to write from a client if you were doing some copywriting on a website and the goal is with this to present a condensed overview of a brand and its main product or service offers to both new and returning visitors. And here's an example of some website copy. Now Helium 10, this is, I pulled this off a website which is basically a, a subscription or a tool that Amazon sellers would use. So it has all sorts of research tools, pricing tools, all sorts of stuff like that. And as soon as you land on their website, this is what you see. So they're trying to obviously get you to sign up for something straight away. You can see it's got a banner at the top. A lot of the benefits are clearly visible on the site. In fact, I'll just jump over to their website and show you what I mean. So this is the website. And as you can see, scrolling down through here, they have all the benefits on the site. It's written very differently than the direct response copyright we just looked at on Facebook. And this is just the home page. Obviously, if we look at the about page, then it's gonna be, you see, gonna be more centric around like the company, the people that are in the company, 
where it, the seller, focus on seller's journey. So this is like their, I guess, values, their unique story. So that's kind of like what website copy would look like. There is almost limitless demand for website copy. There's always going to be people who want website copywriting. And the first tip to, to taking advantage of this, you need to have to learn how to write website copy, obviously. Like we said before in other videos on this channel, that copywriting is very transferable. As long as you understand the fundamentals and the principles of copywriting, you can apply it to any type of these copywriting skills, any, any types of these copywriting. Number two, you want to get in front of new and existing businesses that need website copywriting. So you can do this through many different ways. You could join Facebook groups with people who have websites, businesses. You could go to networking events again local or even network events where people from online businesses are meeting and put yourself in a position where you as a copywriter are provide like could provide a service to these people one great example somebody gave me which wasn't specifically for website copy it was a really good example though years ago one of my mentors he was working with um, in the supplement space and to find clients for his supplement copywriting business instead of going into Facebook groups and stuff like this or copywriting groups he actually went as a copywriter to a supplement event an in-person supplement event and you can imagine he was the only person at this event as a copywriter who was there at this supplement event every other person was a business owner of a supplement brand or a company and yet he was the only copywriter there so you can imagine how interested most of those people were and how much like interest that generated and business that would have generated for him because he put himself in ri literally right in front of the right target market. So on to number three, email copywriting. And this is my favorite type of copywriting. And this is probably one I would recommend if you were just getting started as well, it's really simple. Email copywriting is basically emails that get sent out by a brand or a business. And as you can see, this is like a screenshot of inside my inbox. I subscribe to a lot of people's email lists and newsletters just to see like how they're promoting things, how they're positioning different offers, and just to get ideas for my own copywriting. So that's a really good way to learn from others as well is to sign up to email lists and just to see what other people are doing. Because you don't have to reinvent the wheel with this stuff. You just have to literally understand what's working and you can basically steal that, not copy it, steal it, and then like reword things and rewrite it in your own style. And this is an example of a fun email, I would call it. And it's basically written from some guy called Ben Settle, who is quite a good email marketer, in my opinion. This is technically coming from Ben Settle himself, but he is a business still. It's nice to receive an email that is very personal. I personally think that people prefer to read and receive emails from actual people rather than a business, say. Still like an actual, they actually feel like they're speaking to a real person. And this is exactly what this does. Email copywriting is a great opportunity for freelance write copywriters to make a lot of easy money. And you can sell email copywriting in, in many different ways. And these are just three of the ways that I have done it in the past. You can write copywriting welcome sequences or like onboarding sequences. So if somebody buys a program or joins a course or something like that with someone, you can write emails that go out automatically to that new person, like drip fed out like day by day or that welcomes them into what they've just purchased and it, and it encourages them to use it, shows them how to use it. Ongoing email subscribers. So these could be like value driven emails. These, these could be pointing people in the direction of a new YouTube video, a new podcast updates to something could be anything but it's always good sending emails to subscribers to, to build that relationship to build that trust and then obviously when it does come time to asking for a sale or showing them that you have something for sale then they're going to have that trust and relationship that way more likely to, to purchase from that person and then we've got copywriting for like one-time sales sequences so this is like basically email launch sequences or say if you were had a new program to promote or a new course or a new thing, you could write an, a, a sequence of emails that would go out promoting the, the live event that would then sell this product. It would may even send people to a link where they could just check out and go and buy the product straight away. Unlike website copy, email marketing requires new emails every single week. So you can't just write uh, emails and then that's your job done like you would with website copy. It's a very recurring thing. So usually when people hire you to do email copywriting, it's usually for a longer term thing it's what it's been like for me anyway for you or for me and you that basically means there is virtually limitless demand so how do you take advantage of email copywriting you need to learn how to write email copy first and I have put a shameless plug in the description of this video where you can go and jump on my email list where you can basically grab some copywriting tips that make 
magic internet money, basically. So I will send you, maybe not so daily, but fairly frequent emails and tips on like how to get started in copywriting and how to make how to make money with the written word like I have. It's free, so you don't have to pay anything. Go and click the link in the description below this video and you can jump on my email list. And number two, you need to get in front of new and existing businesses that need email copywriting. How I would do this, I would pitch existing businesses or provide value to target groups of founders and entrepreneurs. Translated, this basically means I personally wouldn't get in front of anybody who doesn't really understand the value of copywriting. And you obviously want people who can afford your services. I have put new on here, but I tend to want to work with existing businesses who already have a proven product, a proven service. They have a large email list of customers and prospects that I can actively sell to. Whereas if you were trying to focus on a new business or somebody who didn't understand the value of copywriting, you would have to overcome the hurdle of selling them on the idea of copywriting first. You don't want to waste your time doing that. You want to approach people and get yourself in front of people who understand what copywriting is and they know the value that it can bring to their business if it's done correctly. So that's exactly what I would do. And you can find these these groups of people in some of the same places that we've discussed before. So we have events, like in-person events, online and, actually, online and offline events, Facebook groups, LinkedIn. You can even find custom, uh, clients this sort of stuff on sites like Upwork, actually. So you can go and look at the job postings on those sites who are looking for email copywriters and you can put your proposal in there and you can even send them samples of your work and stuff like that if you have any. The fourth one is sales page copywriting. Now I have done a lot of sales page copywriting in my past and this probably it may not be for everyone but it can be extremely lucrative if it's done right. So what is sales page copywriting? Sales page copywriting is, is writing for a web page focused on immediately selling a single product or service to the reader. They usually include lots of writing, they're usually fairly long. They usually use a lot of emotion, a lot of problem focus copy to get the reader like really, really sold on what is being sold. There's usually only one option, or well, two options, which is either to buy the product or invest in whatever's on the page or leave. There isn't like an about page, there isn't like a contact us page. The whole focus is the sales page copy and getting you to buy whatever is on offer. And here's an example. So this is from actually a copywriting course from a guy called John Romanello, who is extremely good at writing. And I know this is one of the best copywriting courses you can get. This is like the top of the sales page. This is presenting like what the problem is. It goes through this. This is just, just like, I've just let you grab the screenshot of what you can see, but it takes the reader on a journey basically. And it brings out a lot of emotion, a lot of problems, and it solves, the, perhaps shows you how to solve the problems and essentially leads you to the sale of the course. So this course is called Captivating Copywriting. It's 1497, which may sound like a lot to you, but like I've gone through this video and maybe you've seen other videos, like you can, you can make that money back very, very easily with probably not even one copywriting client. So it's a really good investment. I know this is one of the best courses out there. There's loads of courses though. Let's just look at the opportunity of a sales page as a copywriter. A great sales page will let you sell to an unlimited number of people ongoing with minimal additional work. Once you have written the sales page and it's actually an asset and it's there, that's your work done. You don't have to do any more and you can send as many people as you want to that page. So that's kind of a really big benefit. If you write a sales page that converts well, you can make a lot of money from it. You could easily charge upwards of $3,000 or pounds for editing a single sales page. Single sales page. You wouldn't even have to write that from scratch. So this is just editing it. That's why I put at the bottom of this page, it's not uncommon for copywriters to charge five, 10 grand to write a single sales page from the ground up. There is a lot of work involved in writing a sales page. You have to go out and do a lot of research. You have to go out and create the structure of the sales page. Like these things can take sometimes weeks, even months to write. But if it's done correctly, you can basically earn a lot of money for sales copywriting, okay? It's not for everyone. I've written a lot of sales pages in the past and they're extremely lucrative. And as a copywriter, there are there are different ways you can charge for this. So you could charge like a one-off fee for writing a sales page for a client, but an even better way of doing this would be to charge a one-off fee for the copywriting service of the sales page and then charge equity on top of how many sales that piece of copywriting makes. And that is how you can kind of create a little bit, bit of like passivity in your income and actually leverage your skills and expertise as you get better at copywriting. And then the final video we have, or well, final copywriting type, is video and script copywriting. So this is gonna become more and more popular as time goes on, I think. Video copywriting or script copywriting is writing words that will be delivered via spoken words as part of a video or audio instead of written by the reader on a page. If we look at TikTok users at the minute, this is 
focused on short form stuff. So vertical stuff that people are usually looking at on their phones. TikTok users over the years since 2018 has gone crazy. And the same goes for Instagram as well. Like the month of active, active Instagram users and TikTok users is crazy. This is basically telling us there are probably millions of influencers or people who have businesses or brands on these platforms who would love to have have a script or a, have a script written for their video content. And you can write this and basically give it to them, which takes a lot of time, or basically gives back time to the person or the entrepreneur or the person who is making the videos. You can you can help them with video ideas. You can actually help them co completely script the video. So all they have to do is sit down and press record, and then they have a piece of content they can post to their social media platforms. Real, real simple. And I think this is gonna get more and more popular as time goes on. And this is just an example I got. I don't know this person, but as you can see, very popular. I'm not just talking about just writing the captions for people, although you could do that. I'm talking more about how to script the video themselves so people actually know what to say. Yeah, like I said, I think TikTok is the best way to go on this if you want to pursue this type of copywriting. So if you do want to start a freelance copywriting business or even just get your first couple of clients on the side as like a little side hustle, for every copywriting type we've covered in this video, there's opportunity in each one. It just depends on like which one you feel is best for you. Obviously I'm biased and I would always choose email copywriting because it's I think it's the easiest, it's the most fun. And it's the e I think it's the easiest to actually get into and find clients for. But nevertheless, what holds most people back from success isn't their actual writing experience or their expertise. It's their ability to actually get clients and run an actual business if that's what they want to do with it. So if you're starting this as like a side hustle project and you want to just earn some money outside of your nine to five, or you actually want to jump in with both feet and start a freelance copywriting business, that's people's ability to do that is what holds them back. I'm gonna plug this once more in my video. If you wanna start making money on the side as a freelance copywriter, actually part or full time, make sure you go below, click the link in the description and jump on my free email list where I'll be sending out kind of like daily email copywriting tips. So I'd actually use copywriting tips to help you get started and help making money with copywriting. Cause I know it's kind of like a lucrative and interesting skill for some people. So if that is of interest to you, click the link below and this is the page you will land on. It will just be a black screen with this writing on it. Uh, I'm not very technically minded, which is why yeah, it just looks like this, not fancy. Pop your email in there though, and you will get sent copywriting tips direct to your inbox. And if you've got any comments or questions on this video, pop them below and I'll get back to them. And I hope this video was useful for you guys. Um, take care and we'll see you in the next video. All the best.